Hey there, this is Sean. This is a quick tutorial for a student who had a question that I thought would be a good video tutorial. So here it is. The question is, how would they build a mechanic that it was like a book page? And every time you rolled over or near the book page, it would display text on the screen. So, and how would they make this an easy to implement mechanic? So this is how you do it. And it's a good object oriented piece of code. Uh, basically, the first thing you do is make a an actor class blueprint. So right click, actor blueprint. Let's double click. Inside that, you create a static mesh. I just did that to, you know, presumably that would be the page or the book. Then also a, a box collider. But you can do that in different ways. But anyways, that's how I did it. Then when somebody walks into the box, then the next thing that you want to make sure you do, maybe before you go further in that, is create a widget. So right click, user interface, widget blueprint. I called it UMG book pages. Okay. Inside the widget, you can just create a text block, but it's I prefer to usually put things inside of horizontal and vertical boxes, but the main key ingredient here is a text block. You could also, I think they added a new kind of rich text block if you want. In the future, you could use that. All right, uh, so you've got the text block. You wanna bind it, bind the text, and I did that. So here's the text, and you want to build an array of information. So the array, you just create, I created a text array. So you just, to do that, you just create, click on variable and you specify that you want it to be text. And then you also say that you want it to be an array. Okay, so once you've done that, you also create an integer. And then inside the array, I just created a couple of pages. So it just says page zero, page one, page two. And then create a variable called page number. That's the integer. And so then you pull off of here and you get you get whatever you're specifying in the page number and you shoot that into the screen. Okay. So once you've done that, then you can go into your blueprint and you can say, get all widgets of class. And then you dial in the UMG book pages, you drag out and you say for each loop. And then you say, oh, okay, I've looped. And then I say, okay, I'm touching that specific case. And what do I want to do? Well, <clears throat> here inside the blueprint, I created a variable called set page number and I made that public. So now every time I drop an instance of the blueprint under the screen, I can set that to the specific page number that I want it to be. And that will specify, so this number is 0, 1, 2, 3, and you can make it as many as you want the array to be. That will talk to this array inside of the UMG. So you can have all these different blueprints. So here I set it to one, here I set it to two, and here I set it to zero. All right, so then, so we get all widgets of class, we said for each, then what I'm pulling off is I'm saying, set the page number. And so I'm setting the page number here, I'm setting the page number in UMG to the page number that I've set here. And that shoots it over to UMG. Then the next stage is to make sure that the user interface is on. So I'm casting, so I get the player character first, then I cast to the first person character, and I made a, a custom event. So let's take a look at that next, uh, called flip UI on. So hopefully, um, if you've done user interface stuff before, you can do this real quick. You All you need to do in order to make a widget 
display something onto the viewport, you create a you you just create a widget. And then you specify the widget that you've created. And then you add it to the viewport. And then if you want to talk to that widget, you can right click here and you promote to a variable. So I did that. And I I uh, said I called that my UI. All right. So then down here, hey, if you want the user, quite often it's a uh, common for that you want the user to be able to turn the user interface on and off. Like if it's an in inventory or something, the key is usually like I. So you can do uh, right click, say keyboard I, um, or you know, or keyboard L in this case, maybe if you want to do something different. All right? And you say when you press that key, uh, you know, you can flip flop. Um, now, if, if if we didn't have any other event, if it was just all up to the user, uh, then I would just say, okay, set the visibility of what? Of the my, of my UI. So I drag this my UI over here. You hold down the control key, pulls, it's a getter. And then you say hidden or visible. Uh, but I created a custom event. Uh, add custom event. Right? I called my custom event flip UI on. And so I made a Boolean. So hold down the B key. And then I made a variable, a Boolean variable that says the UI is off. So, so if I'm calling the user interface, like if I go near a book, I want it to pop up in my viewport. Uh, so in so I'm evaluating. So if the user interface is off, I want to make sure it pops up. So if this is off, then that says it's true. Then that will, um, then that means it will route to B. But if it's false, it's already on. I don't need to do anything. And that's it. We can test this. So here we are. Page zero. Page two. Page one. Page zero. If I hit I, I'm going to turn the user interface off. If I go near one of these things, it turns the user interface back on. So that's, uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching.